guys, it's Bonnie from Artist in a Garden and I'm working on one of the last projects for my front garden for the season. My last plants that I want to get planted out in this space are my dahlias. So I started my dahlia tubers in pots to get them pre-sprouted and you can see from these plants they are more than just sprouted. They are almost uh, filling up this whole pot. So it's time for them to go into my garden space. I did remove a couple of shrubs from this front garden to make room for my dahlias. And I've had them placed out in this space to kind of see how they're gonna fill in. A lot of the other perennials in this garden space have, uh, have filled in their spaces and I have a good idea where I wanna put these dahlias. I had ambitions of pinching them off and starting some root, uh, what do you call that? When you, when you take a cutting and you root it and you grab another plant from that, but uh, I haven't gotten around to that. However, Erin from The Impatient Gardener has a great video on how to pinch off your dahlia plants and root the cuttings if you want to grow another plant uh, similar to the one that you have or the same as what you have. The sun has just come out and now I'm sunny, shady. <laughs> Anyways, so today I'm gonna to make some room or I, today I'm going to take my dahlia plants now that are more than just tubers and get them planted in my front garden space. So one of my favorite garden tools that uh, I purchased last year is one of these, uh, what are they called? Hoop hose. I saw again Erin from The Impatient Gardener going over some of her favorite tools and uh, this was one of the tools that I've watched her use many many times in her videos and it has the sharp edge on it so you use it to cut through roots and weeds and uh, it does a great job of just prepping your beds and uh, controlling some of the weeds so and i'll put a link below for uh, this one that i purchased it's got the tooth edge and then it also has an inner blade as well so then when you're moving it through the soil it just cuts through any roots that you might still have in the ground this is where i had the euonymus so it still has some roots in here that when you find a root, you just stab it with your hoe. <laughs> Hoeing, it's hard work. Okay, so I think I have as much prepped as I can. I've uh, chopped up a lot of the roots that were still left in here from the euonymus that I had uh, trained. And I've got my dahlias placed. I think where they're going to go for now. So first I'm going to add a little bit of fertilizer into my garden because I haven't had any yet this season. So my tubers, I labeled them all before I started growing them with these awesome little tags that just stay on your tuber while they're growing. So I'm going to put that in the ground with my awesome little plant. Dahlia, number one in the ground. On to the next.
Well guys, I think it has been a pretty successful day. I've got all my dahlias planted in the garden. I think I counted them and there are 13 or 18 of them spread throughout this garden space and I'm excited to watch them grow. I will keep you updated on when we get some blooms and how they are doing. I do have some stakes for them to stake them up once they start to need that extra support but I'm going to wait until we get some more growth on these on these dahlias. I didn't really want to have a bunch of sticks sticking out of my garden. I might regret that decision but for now we have all the dahlia tubers, all the pre-sprouted dahlia tubers in my front garden. So a sign of a successful day, the mess that's left to clean up when you're finished. My name is Bonnie, this is Artist in a Garden. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. What is your favorite dahlia to grow? Mine this year, I think it's gonna be the Penn Hill Watermelon. We'll see how it does and I'll keep you updated on that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye. And these are all dinner plate dahlias. Whew. Gypsy Moth Caterpillar. I feel like I have caterpillars crawling all over me. The sun has just come out and it's right in my face.